everyone, my name is Ksenia and if you can think of a way that staged fights and public speaking are similar, keep watching this video. If it's the first time that you see me and you don't know me, nice to meet you first of all. And second of all, my name is Ksenia, I am a public speaking aficionado and also a fan of professional wrestling of 12 years. And just recently this week I had a friend tell me, well, isn't public speaking somewhat similar to professional wrestling? When they said that I had the same confusion in my eye that you probably have now. In what ways are they similar? And then my friend proceeded to tell me that public speaking is mostly scripted as well, but there is room for improvisation and still there are ways to express yourself within the scripted context. And in the same way as professional wrestling, it being scripted doesn't mean that it's not real and doesn't mean that real heart doesn't go into that. Which is honestly such a valid observation. Very insightful indeed and thought-provoking because I was losing sleep that night because of that. Just thinking about how it never really crossed my mind. But then I realized what was the reason why it never did. It's because public speaking is not like wrestling. Wrestling is public speaking. I could go very, very in-depth on that and tell you about continuity and character building and how even the physical aspects of the matches are storytelling essentially and are able to translate a certain emotion or a certain insight or a certain struggle to the audience. But the simpler and the more exciting answer actually lays on the surface here. One of the most important aspects of professional wrestling are promos. And if you don't know what a promo is, a promo is basically when a wrestler gets their point across to the audience while standing in the middle of the ring, or while hanging out backstage, or even at the parking lot, even while their fans queue for their meet and greet. Doesn't matter where really, but the thing is a promo is when you get your point across, something that you struggle with or something that you want everybody to know about you or understand about your story and where you're coming from in like several minutes. Isn't that just the craft of public speaking? So yeah, I'm here today to tell you that public speaking is basically the same as cutting promos in professional wrestling. I am of course no scientist, but I'm going to tell you three aspects of a great promo, in my personal opinion, that also make a great public speech. Number one, be concise. No need to use much more words that can actually get your point across. And I would be the last person talking about that because I personally do love getting way deep into a subject and just ranting for hours on it. However, if you're trying to get something across that is really important to your character or to your worldview, it's very important to not distract people from it yourself. Because you don't get enough time to bore the audience. When it comes to professional wrestling, it's usually on live TV. And I feel like to a certain extent that could be translated to public speaking. Number two, talk for yourself and about yourself. I know it sounds vague, but I'll elaborate. Even if you're talking about social issues, about something that's going on in the world right now, about something that's very, very big and global, you still need to add your own flavor to that. You still need to speak from yourself. How does it affect you? How could it potentially affect you? How does that affect your loved ones, your community? There are so many people in the world just talking into the air about things that they don't really understand or don't really feel or can't really relate to. So tell your own story. Tell yourself that you are enough, you are good enough, you are interesting enough, you are compelling enough for your audience to be interested in your story. And that also applies to cutting promos in professional wrestling and public speaking. Tell your story. Because no one wants to listen to a walking textbook that just talks about things in theory. In the modern society, in the world of social media and in the world of media on the whole, and hello, you're watching a YouTube video right now, we are in the state where personality has the most value it's ever had. Everything is about personality. So put your personality into what you're trying to get across. Number three, believe in what you're saying. And it's very important when it comes to professional wrestling because we're talking scripted, we're talking kayfab. So in that scenario, it's 100% so important to believe what you're saying. Because in professional wrestling, if you're hyper aware of being a character, you're not gonna go far. You need to live, breathe and die what you represent as that character. So believe your own words, because if you don't, no one will. And I feel like we don't talk about that enough when it comes to public speaking. Because you truly have to believe what you're saying. And if you don't get the sense of believing yourself while you're rehearsing or while you're uh, just showing your speech to your relatives or your friends, 
Ask yourself why. Why don't I believe myself? Maybe something that I'm trying to convey is not quite right in my mindset. Or maybe I don't quite relate to some of the stories that I want to tell. Or maybe some of the beliefs that I try to translate were forced on me. Ask yourself that because it's super important. Believe in what you're saying. And if you don't believe in what you're saying, ask yourself why and fix it. When and only when you believe yourself, other people will believe you. Because at the end of the day, the reason why we do public speeches is because we have something that we believe in, that we want to tell the world, that we want to tell people. Maybe we want to make the world a better place. So yeah, as it turns out, cutting promos in professional wrestling is basically public speaking, in its essence, very boiled down and very concentrated. So if you're not a wrestling fan, I highly recommend that you check out some high-rated wrestling promos just to pick up some tips and tricks for public speaking, believe me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, do write a comment if you want to discuss, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more think pieces, interviews and public talks. Find and follow Let's Talk Mugimo on social media and subscribe to my personal channel for more wrestling related, social issues related and other different different kinds of content. And have a good one! Goodbye!